what I've got for you today is a very simple, quick tip. Um, you, a lot of you have probably tried to set up studios in areas that have suspended ceilings, uh, and sometimes it can be a problem to, to mount things like Vive trackers or even green screens in those areas if you don't want to have stands everywhere. Uh, so I've got a couple quick ways that you can get around this problem. Originally I tried these things which are called X-clips, and they clip right over top of the, uh, the rails of your suspended ceiling. I found these didn't work terribly well. They, they didn't hold on very tightly and they wobble too much, so I got rid of those. Um, then I tried using some ball heads with, with magnetic bases, and those worked very well. Uh, the only problem with them was they were kind of expensive. They cost about $20 a piece. Uh, and I thought there ought to be a better way to deal with this, and after thinking about it a while, I realized that what you see here would work great. This is like a simple L-bracket from your local hardware store. Uh, you want to get a heavier one like this, um, because the magnets, will, magnets stick to them much better. Um, and I have a ball head from Small Rig that's just bolted into through one of the holes in the, in the L-bracket. To connect this, I use one of these. This is a neodymium magnet, very high power. Uh, it actually has a holding strength of around 35 pounds, which is quite enough for just about anything you want to hook to your ceiling. Um, all you have to do is snap it to the L-bracket like that, and you'll find it's very difficult to get loose. And just to show you, I'll click it to a second L-bracket here, you can hear how tightly, and you can see it takes quite a bit of effort to get them apart. So, once you put this on the rail of your suspended ceiling, it's not going to go anyplace. Um, although if you're a, a little paranoid, or if you live in an earthquake zone like I do, you might consider putting a safety string through one of these empty holes and tying that to the ceiling as well just in case. You can take whatever device you want to hook onto the ceiling and screw it onto this ball head and then just by loosening the ball head you can move it around and angle it however you like. The second useful piece here is for hanging green screens. Now again I'll use this as a stand-in for the rails on the ceiling. The way I hung the, my green screen up was with these little hooks. Now these may look pretty simple. They look a little bit like the standard old fridge magnet, but they're actually not. Um, this is again a neodymium high strength magnet with a pull strength of about 20 some odd pounds, which is pretty good considering its small size. And um, all you have to do is snap these to the ceiling and you've got a hook that you can hang your green screens from. Uh, my green screen happened to have eyelets about every 18 inches or so, so um, the whole 20-foot screen is held up by maybe about five or six of these. And that's it. Very simple, very cheap stuff.